What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're going to be playing some standard. This is a deck that the Antibody submitted. And this is Yorion, our companion. We got Cling to Dusk, Glass Casket, Birth of Miletus, Agonizing Remorse, Golden Egg, Dance of the Mance, Elspeth's Nightmare, Mythos of Nethroi, Treacherous Blessing, Shadow of the Sky, Extinction Event, Once in Future, mm. uh, Doom Foretold, Calyx, my favorite piece of Ikea furniture as well. Elspeth Conqueror's Death, Yorion, Shark Typhoon, Eerie Ultimatum, and Garrick are, are our deck cards. Then we have 36 lands in the form of all these. I'm not going to read them off. You guys can see them. They will also be in the description below. <clears throat> Sideboard, we have three Duress, a Mystical Dispute, two Necromentia, one Extinction Event, one Elspeth, two Shark Typhoon, two Erebos Intervention, and two Heliod's Intervention. I have no idea where to start with this, so we're just going to play it and uh, see how it goes. Mnemonic Deluge. And uh, we're going to give a uh, standard ranked, right? We just want to always want to be ranking. Exile, so it's nine mana. Exile an instant or sorcery. Copy that card three times. Oh, yeah, I saw this. Yeah, this is, I don't know, nine mana is a little more... Uh, I've heard some theories that if he loses, he'll resign so Pence can pardon him for January. That's wild. Um. Hmm. Well. I think we're keeping it. It's still three lands. Oh, Jaffer, thanks so much for the raid, buddy. Really appreciate it. Do you think this is Tony Stark, man? Wow, wouldn't that be something? That'd be just wild. Should I be further this way, maybe? Does it matter? I don't think so. I kind of like to center myself between the, like, between here and, and, like, over here. Like, between the edge of that event thing. Um... How goes it? Not too bad. Not too bad. How about you, buddy? We just started, so your timing is good. I'm just going to get a white source. Otherwise known as a planes. Maybe you guys have heard of them. Untapped land? No. So now we're just going to play Birth of Miletus next turn. What does this do? Yeah, sure, that's fine. Golgari Adventures. Tired of getting out of percents? Out of percents? What does that mean? Witch's Cottage in a three-color deck is pretty ambitious. It's. I agree with you. The number of... Uh... Oh, Mythic Percents into Numbers. Got it, got it. Um, yeah, we're just gonna go Birth of Miletus here. Get, uh, another planes. Yeah, okay. And then we'll just play the planes. Yeah, well, I don't want to make this too much of a political stream here. Um, there are, ex there are, there are uh, numerous, uh, investigations going on. So, uh, so you can play this, play this, play something else. Let's do all the things. Mm 
Cool. Okay. I like it. <clears throat> this is different names, right? Yeah, it seems good. Wild. It's fine. Yeah, why wouldn't there be a basic island? I don't know if we have... Oh, I guess we have uh, triomes, right? For for swamps. Okay. Weird flex, but okay. Hmm. Can actually play Yorion, Blink, Golden Egg, and Birth of Miletus, which doesn't seem terrible. Have you got a counter spell? No. Make another wall. So many walls, man. My roommate went off while I was streaming about it. His door was shut and you can hear him across the apartment about how he was set over that car. That's like, it's so funny. My, I think Tom LaPille put it best like if you're upset about this card but you think soul ring is fine then you're probably just wrong oh wow this is a solid hand um don't care about eliminate ugin is a little scary glass casket how do we beat um, I kind of just want to take Tefri, actually. We can deal with Garganon. They don't have nearly enough mana for Ugin, or for us to worry about Ugin. Hmm. We no longer have any planes left. So that is unfortunate. We are just going to play this because it's just going to keep exiling our graveyard, which is worse when we have your ultimatum in hand. So, yep, that's a good reason why. I just don't care about Gargroth because we have Doom foretold in hand, so. And now we have Elspeth. Don't think I need a second dance of the manse. We don't have a blue source right now. I feel like we're way ahead. I 
mean, Eliminate does nothing against us, which is great. Yep, you got it. It's just Doom Foretold, right? Okay. <laughs> well, that's, that works for me. Mm -hmm. We didn't see much. I mean, Duress is probably pretty good. Don't think I care about Kling. Bringing them Duresses. What card was I like? This is not good against them. Um... Seems pretty good. Um, Any land we're keeping. That is not a land. Hmm. Well, thank you. That is a dude. Oh, Farty McPoopy panties. <laughs> Thank you for the... Oh, oh, Super Fritz. Thank you for the gifted sub to Farty McPoopy panties. Just beautiful. Buddy. You sure are. Farty McPoopy panties. Super Fritz. Da -da -da. Pepper, you've never learned your lesson. We need to land here because we have mono doom foretold dot deck up in up in this hand. So we also have nothing to sacrifice. I guess we can treacherous blessing. We go one, two, three, four, six. We go up to seven. Go down to six. Go up to nine. Play a land. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Well. Treacherous blessing. <laughs> oh, super friends with a gifted uh, sub to serious adult name. A classic. Wow, we have literally nothing we can cast here. And I don't want to put Yorian in my hand. Really, that doesn't do anything. Yep, this game's pretty bad. Farty McPoopy panties. I think it's got to be funny when these people get notifications they're gifted a sub to my channel and they have no idea who I am. Like, that's got to be weird, right? Guys, you have eight more minutes for our stream raiders battle, so make sure you put all your units. This is a four-level four, four, diffi four level difficulty here. <clears throat> oh, good. If we had a land, we could Extinction Event and get rid of these two, but apparently a fourth land is just a lot to ask for. Hmm. 
since mentioning stream raiders, you guys have put down three more guys, and I'm I'm proud of you. We do need a white here, but this is still pretty good. It gives us an agonizer more worse, and eventually we'll have a Garrick. And what more can you really ask for? White source? No. I will put you on the bottom, though. I don't need a fifth land that's not white. Oh, Nightmare Spider with the gift. <laughs> Why is that a thing? Oh, God. That's a white source, though. Show me what you've got. Oh, your own Agonizing Horse. And a Wilt. Two Wilts. I don't care about either of those. Joke's on you, buddy. We got an Elder Gargroth. We don't really have an answer for that. I guess we do have a Garrick, but then you have a Garrick. I'm going to bottom this. I don't want to keep a, uh, a Shadow of the Sky in hand when you have uh, Gargaroth three turns from now. That just doesn't seem super threatening. Oh, that's pretty good, though. I hear the secrets that you keep when you're talking in your sleep. When you close your eyes. Did you forget you have an 80-card deck? And only no, there are there are thirty six lands in the deck. Also, blame the anti buddy. He's the one who sent this over. <laughs> Just play Yorian for no value. Submit zero. They didn't even let me. They're like, you don't have anything to submit, stupid. Sounds good. 2-2 two, two shark. You got it. Oh, big gargle dons. That's pretty good. And also, if you want to wilt this, that's fine. I don't feel like they're going to Garrick and kill this. Then we can Garrick and make wolves. Yeah. Have you ever listened to the crickets and the blue horn moon? Or as the grinning bobcat while he grins? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, we have seven mana. They can play both of these. If we play this, they sack this. And then we have black, white, green. When you close your eyes and you go to sleep, sleep, sleep. It's not a token, so they got to sack Garrick. Gary! <laughs> the problem is we have to sack Elspeth Conqueror's Death, which I think... I don't know if that's great. They can also wilt it. I mean, is drawing a card, making them discard, might be better. Yeah, I'm just going to take two. I'm not going to waste Mythros on this guy. Hmm. Yeah, it's fine. Just going to take Garrick here. Which means I might actually Elspeth here, because then 
I might actually sack Doom Foretold to itself because I'd much rather get Garrick back. Dance of Plants. We have nothing in my graveyard. So now we're just gonna. That's true if they take out yeah agonizer more than exile garrick that's a good point so it doesn't really not like it matters anyway but thank you <laughs> oh jimbo the sarcophagus well Well, thankfully now Garrick is in the graveyard, so we could once in the future to get it back. I think we're just gonna play Triome and pass. Queue up Shark Typhoon for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven for five. Thank you. Auto pay, get in the pay. Auto pay. Super Fritz with Charles Entertainment Cheese. Oh god, and Pizza Rat and Jimbo the Sarcophagus, courtesy of Arctic Avenger. Wow, you guys are incredible. Just the heroes we need. I'll block. That's interesting. That lets us play once in future. Oh, that's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, can we cast that right now? Oh, we have two six drops. We get a four drop, five drop, five drop. Dang it. So what do we have? This could be any color thanks to egg. We have green, green. No, there's a second blue. That's unfortunate. Let's just attack. I actually don't want to use a green. Let's go black, white, blue. Thank you. So now we have one. Thank you. Do we have enough? One, two, three, four. Yeah, we got four greens still. So. Resolves. Thank you. Oh, Adam, what's up, my dude? Thank you for the re for the gifted subs, buddy. I appreciate you, my dude. Thank you. You guys are awesome. Tonight's been, man, tonight's been, you guys have been supportive tonight. I appreciate all of you. All of your souls. I think this game is kind of over. Uh, I, uh, cancel. I don't know if this would do it, but I want to make sure we do. Garrick and Elspeth. Uh, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm. Could we ear ultimate here? I mean, they could take something. But I don't think that's that terrible, right? We can't play this. <laughs> Dang it. Are you sure? White, white. Black, black, black. We're, we're a green shy. One, two. We have four left over after casting this. Crazy Crusaders first from all the nonsense in Modern at the moment? What's going on in Modern? I feel like I haven't kept up with Modern in, in, a, in a spell. Sure. You get my Gary. I'll try my luck elsewhere. So they're going to wilt the Elspeth Conqueror's death. Nope. Llanowar, Elf, Llanowar Visionary first. I hope they pass the turn with the... Oh, Arctic Avenger with the gifted sub to Nightmare Spider with a Y. That's a thing. Okay, they're doing it. Oh, they're good. Good game is in they're dead? Interesting. I'll good game you. Hit him in the donk. Couldn't they have exile? Didn't they have creatures in here? Probably not. That's like the Walmart version. It's the edgier version. It's like the Doritos Extreme. My son hit me in the donk the other day. Wow. Okay, let's let's look at this deck just a little bit. I think this mana base needs some work. I don't think you want any blue sources that can't also be uh, other colors because then you have a real hard time casting your ultimatum. Um, plus, we don't have anything that like searches for lands other than Birth of Miletus, which is only going to get white anyway. So, I think we do want more triomes. How many do you have in here? Do you have all four? Three and two, huh? So we're every color but red. We're not red. Like, I definitely think you want four of the Endotha Triome. I also think you can go up to three Zagoth Triomes. And I don't actually, I think I don't think you care about Fabled Path. Witch's Cottage seems real ambitious. Because these are both swamps anyway. So I, I guess it doesn't matter if you take out the cottage. Um, I don't love pathway. Because if you ever make it a blue and you also hit like your uh, island. Then you're just like, oh, well I can't. I can't do it. I think this should just be eight triumphs. I'm going to be honest. I like the eighth pathways. Well, the thing is, you can actually take Fatal Passage out if you take out the island. I just don't think, like, for you have like three blue cards, right? Two Shark Typhoons. And three Dance of the Mance. Those are your only blue cards. You're never going to cast this for less than like eight mana. So if you don't have a blue source at that point, then you probably don't need it. I 
Yeah, unfortunately, there's just not enough. I'm going to make this larger. <laughs> unfortunately, there's just not enough uh, dual-colored fixing that you kind of, like, have to run temples, unfortunately. How many lands is this? 35. So we're, like, not only are we missing one, but we can take out the two Fable Pass. Like, also, I don't want to just thin our, our basics too much. Thank you. Uh, Oral, what up, my dude? Welcome back. Thank you so much for the resub, buddy. I really appreciate you. Um, I do think we want more golden eggs. Like, if we're just playing Doom Foretold and, like, Dance of the Mance and stuff, like, we really want cards we can sacrifice to it. Plus, again, it's fixing, so. What lands are we replacing, though? We have Branch Loft, Bright Climb, and I guess I guess this is fine because it does act like a black source. Oh, that's really weird. I would actually put one more Temple of Plenty. I don't think Castle... Eh, Castle Lockley might be fine, I guess. New baby. Oh, man. Congrats, buddy. Once in Future was fine when I cast it, but I think having the... Well, so, like, now that we've had infinite triomes, I feel like our odds of hitting triple green are even better now, so... So, again, how many lands is this thing? I mean, two more? Yeah, two more lands to get to 36. Why don't we have, like, some some, dual, some modal cards here? They're at the end of these, right? <laughs> God. Oh yeah, I'm aware. I'm, I'm aware of what Adamant does on Once in Future. I'm just saying, like, I don't want them to go on the top because that's not really card advantage. That's literally just one for one, and then you get a good draw. But hmm. Oh yeah, you probably can. If you switch the view, you probably can scroll through it faster. The problem is that once I switch the view, it goes back to the beginning, right? So like. I have to actually look. And the only reason it scrolls faster is because there's more cards per page. But. Hmm. Oh, Jesus. I almost dropped my drink. That would have been friggin' monstrous. Um. How many swamps do we have? Three? I could see definitely cutting Castle Lockthwain for like. One Hagra Mauling. Like, I just don't see us in a position where we're going to be drawing... Drawing cards off that. I mean, maybe we might, but... I personally don't see it. Um, I could see, like... I don't think Undo Inversion is great because we have a lot of permanents that we wouldn't want to kill. Uh, I, I think Amiria's Call is actually pretty fine. The black own common discard Pollock Predation? I mean, it could be fine. I do kind of like one of Miri's call. It's just good. Um, is that everything? Oh yeah, because we're not playing red, so I guess we don't get any. Also, Balagad Recovery seems just fine. Is there any cards that like that this deck would want that bounce lands to the hand? Because this is what 30, 33 lands plus one Hagramalling, one Amiria's Call, and one Balagan Recovery. 
Shepard. Oh. But then we have to play Shepard. <laughs> Boomerang. Oh boy. Uh, return land. You know, Brazen Borrow can return their lands to our hand. Hmm. We can play Ashiok. We can totally play Ashiok in this deck. I like that more than I should, I think. I think I... I mean, three Dance of the Mance is a lot, especially when you only have, like, two Golden Eggs, two Birth of Miletus. I'm going to cut one Dance. I'm going to put one Ashiok in here. Just because that seems fun. <laughs> I'm having a good time. Um, Everything else seems fine for now. I don't know if I like Castle Ardenvale. Like, you really don't want lands to tap for one color, to be quite honest. Um, so what's another eight triumphs? Full eight triumphs. I wish more lands came into play untapped in this format. Ugh, it's such a it's such a to do, man. And we also have Miria's call, so we we just don't need this many like white sources. More Nogs, Egg Nogs? I kind of do, but I don't think Cling to Dusk is that main deckable in this format, especially since Euro's gone. I mean, I'd rather just have another egg, to be quite honest. There's no way to get another egg in here, is there? Like, I have to literally just either switch the view. It's so weird that, like, this, this view, this mode, has no way to add a, a card. Um, we need one more land. What's it going to be? It's got to be a black source. Oh yeah, cling is fine because you can actually, like, mill, like, you can, uh, you can demill yourself, sure. Like, we can put it in the sideboard. I am ready for you to change my life. Bring it. Bring the change. <sighs> Might just be another Hagra Mulling, to be honest. But we already have three, like, three swamps. Hmm. It might be Temple of Silence, yeah. I could see it. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, I definitely think it is another temple, but... Really, you're going to put the one I don't have? Look at this. Let's Look at this hilariousness. Temple of Silence. I have six of them, and it's going to use the one I only have two of, and insist I craft one. Quality. Oh, yeah, you, like, you could throw it in the sideboard and then plus one and then put it in the main deck, sure, but that's actually, I mean, it's just kind of like a, that's more like a, it's a workaround, right? It's not like a, it's not designed, like, that's not the, the intended design. The only direction it flows is down. This hand seems great.
I also think we could probably cut down on one birth of Miletus because if you draw like, like right now, only one birth of Miletus is actually going to get us planes. We want to see what we hit first because if we hit a black source, then we can play it. This is a blue. If we get a blue source, we can play this. Sure. We didn't get anything. Uh, we're going to play it as a black even though we have more black sources in the deck because we have Doom Hortold which gets rid of this guy so it's still fine the only direction it flows is down What do you think this is going to do? They're going to neutralize it. Do, 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 do. Well, they only have four cards in hand. We look good about it. Oh. Are they going to brazen bar or bounce it? Oh, Lord. Okay. Oh, I do like Maze Mind is Tome. Maze Mind is Tome. I do like Maze Mind Tome a lot. Down, all oh, down. Is there a second card I can play? No. I have a third brazen borrower. Oh lord. Lucky, 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 lucky. Good times. Let's see if we can hit another land here, huh? We could not. Still seems fine. Hey, right, top off and eat and do laundry. Have a good stream. Jaffer, thanks so much for the raid, buddy. Have a good night, buddy. How many times can I say buddy? I don't know. Probably a lot. Probably a good amount. Oh, down. You got it. Um, I don't think we have any more planes, so I'm actually going to put that on the bottom. Whereas if that was a Maze Mines Tome, I probably would have kept it. Okay, you have to make a story with the word buddy in every sentence now before I leave. Oh, buddy, you don't even know. Buddy. This is a this is a sizable task, buddy. This is all this is now I just feel like I'm actually having a stroke. God, he just kept saying buddy. So you're just taking my birth of Molinus? And getting nothing out of it? Hmm, that's fascinating. Um, second egg. What if I just Ashiok and bounce this guy? That seems good, right? I can also Ashiok bounce this and they have to sack this guy. No, they can play Brazen Borrower in response. And then we can block. That actually seems pretty good. Oh, then that player exiles a card from their hand. So yeah, we're still going to bounce. We can't bounce Birth of Miletus and then uh, get it back to our hand and then also have them exile a card. 
What do we have? Three? We have six mana, so I actually don't even want to play Amiria's Call here. <laughs> have a good night, my dude. Good times. The only... Alright, 11 minutes left. we got 68 allies. Wow, we really focused on two major areas in the stream raid. The only... Why do I have... Tem oh, because Temple of Deceit. That's why. I mean, this seems like a pretty easy choice here. Sounds good. Are they gonna like play this guy in response? No, they're just gonna, they're gonna give up the ghost. Sounds good. The only direction flow Temple of Deceit. The Temple of Deceit flows down. Nothing. Wifferuskies. They will light our way. One, two, three, four, five, six mana. This is an instant? Alright, that's good. Well, we don't have any instant speed stuff. So we just have Hagra's mauling. So I'm just going to put this down tapped. We'd have one, two, three, four. How much mana do they have? One, two, three, four. They have six. So they can play oh they only have oh they have two brazen bars brazen bees raisin bars one two three four five six god we're one away that's so sad enters tapped we still have a, we have another thing we have to do dang yeah, it's fine. We'll just discard an extinction event of the three we have in hand. That was my friend. Oh, persuade him to raid Hero. Oh, nice. Wow, that's really, that's actually kind of funny. I had no idea, my dude. I had no idea, buddy. <laughs> God, only does it say buddy. Oh, interesting. All right. What does that do? Sure. Fascinating. <laughs> Dang it. Clothis, show me my path. If you're lost, you can you look and you will find me. Clothe this time. Those are handy, choose a non creature and on land. So if we play this, they just go Brazen Borrower in response. Sack a Brazen Borrower. 
Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's pretty good. That card's great. Jeez. Four cards for four mana is absolutely ridiculous. That's a that's a that's a card of mana. I don't think I've actually heard Iron and Wine's time after time cover, but I bet it's amazing. What are they casting here? Does it say? Like, how do I know what's going on here? Are they bouncing that? It's going face. Okay, no blocks. Pass the damage. Um, fascinating. Where's my lands at? I don't want to put Hagra Mauling down because... I don't think I like Kallax in here. We're just whiffing way too many times. I don't even know how many enchantments are in the deck, to be honest, but... Like, we also have nothing to target here. Yeah, it's not great. Um, one, two, three, four. And then we don't... Like, we just need an eighth land here. I think we just want to add another mana here. Because everything in our hand costs four. It's pretty rough. Discard. Sure. Scared of Elspeth's Nightmare and probably one extinction event. <sighs> Have you heard Cindy Lauper's cover of Flightless Bird? I can't actually tell if that's a troll or not. If you're lost, you can look and you will find me Time after time I will be waiting Shark after shark Shark after shark Yep, you got it. I hope you don't have a way to stop this, yeah. Otherwise, it's bad. They didn't. Wow, we're actually... Staying alive, staying alive. Huh, 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 huh. See, that's kind of funny. We just drew this last turn and then whiffed, and then we just drew this this turn and then whiffed again. Sounds good. I am blessed by this. They do have enough for a. I guess we still have enough for a shark typhoon for two here, don't we? Power two or less. Oh, that's not good. This guy got vigilance? Sure. Let's get in there. I still think twice a game is too many times for Calyx. Like, having a Planeswalker that, like, doesn't hit two times in a game is pretty bad. Sure. Sure. 
sure. But I get that back, you know. You know what else is cool? Robots are cool. Trying to go on the cheaper side? You mean the jeeper side? <laughs> This is a lot of things they're doing. I look for an engine in a car. I don't even know what that means. I look for good gas mileage. If you're lost, you can catch me. I will be waiting. Why aren't they bouncing that with their brazen bar? That's really weird. Oh my god, an eighth mana. Oh, and this gets to trigger. That's pretty cool. <laughs> okay, so let's just avoid blue spells. I gotta pay three more. Yeah, I mean, we're definitely taking it into the story. Like, it's nothing new. Okay, so that's pretty good. The patterned future appears before. So now we're going to play this. If they want to counter it, one, two, three, four, they can counter it and still, they didn't counter it. That's fascinating. Isn't this, this guy's not in your hand, right? Oh, and then they play this guy in response. Yeah, that's good. I mean, we take four, but like, I don't think we have great. I guess we have Shark Typhoon, Treacherous Blessing, Ashiok. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Battle is ready, and how are we looking? 116 guys okay well if there's any battle we're crushing it's definitely this one what is his ultimate return all enchantments from your area to the battlefield sure that seems good yep seems good The second hand unwinds. If you're lost, you can look. What do we got? 1945 to 2015. So very close. In game one. Good gravy. Uh, if I hit resolve, do I have to... There's a non-land, non-token permanent. Yeah, we're just going to get rid of this because this actually kills us where Ashiok just makes a guy here. It's actually pretty good. This is what's known as being in the driver's seat. Um, I'm actually 
just going to sacrifice this because I think it's better to have the Elspeth Conqueror's Death on board. Okay. Is there anything that's valuable from the graveyard? Looks like nothing. Doesn't really matter. One, two, three, four, five. We have seven mana. Oh, God, we're one shy. I guess we can get Yorion. Seems fine. Second hand unwinds. If you're lost, you can look if you will. Wait, what? Oh, it was definitely Ashiok. Okay. That was the only thing in our graveyard. Sure. What you gonna do? Drown in the lock. You got it. I like a Doom Ford hold here just to draw. One. Okay, the end. <laughs> Got him. Okay, so I think we can actually take out like one of these. Probably. Actually, Shatter is probably better than Extinction Event. Um, Destroy Artifacts, don't care. Mystical Dispute is 100% coming in. Yeah, I just don't like the Calyx, I'll be honest. I just don't think he's I don't think he's very good. Oh, uh, I did take out one dance because I don't think you have nearly enough artifacts or enchantments to take advantage of it. Like, what do you got? Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, this card's alright. Like you're just not accumulating enough in the graveyard to really. Actually, Shark Typhoon seems pretty good in this matchup. Plus, I don't actually even love Dance as a strategy because there are so many cards that are hating the graveyard right now. Like, can we also, we already have Eerie Ultimatum. Like, you have to have six or more in the graveyard, and I think that's not easy to do. I think we could cut Dance altogether. I don't think it's a, I don't think it's an adequate win condition. I think if you do that, you can actually cut Shark Typhoon as well, and you make your mana base significantly better. You get to play more of the modal cards. Um, this is fine. The card we were looking at the other day, you might have to be more specific. Yeah, see, like, I just don't want this in the early game. I will be waiting. <laughs> oh boy. Sheesh. Okay, you got this one one. That's neato.
I think we will keep that. Like, this hand definitely survives with significantly more lands. What did they mill? Nope, what did they mill? Okay. See, this is what I mean. Like, you don't have any... I don't think we have enough two drops. Like, I don't think we have enough things like Golden Egg or, like, Terrarian. There's no Terrarian in this format. Sure. Oh, what up, War Diddy? Well, I have been here the whole time, so... I don't know what to say. Confusion is nothing new. Man, there's nothing quite like blocking a brazen borrower and drawing a card. See, like right now, I don't even want to play Doom Foretold because I just don't have enough two drops. Like, I don't have enough things that like I put on the board for no. I'm old. I sleep early. <laughs> I mean, usually I'm on earlier than this. For reason. I mean, like. Mystical Dispute. Six cards in the yard. Time after time. Time after time. Sure. Fill up that hand. <sighs> they could play something flashy. They did not. He whistling. Oh, banish into fable. I'm just gonna keep that. One, two, three, four, we have six. So I can put Yorion in hand, but not like that. No, let's go black, black, white, and then we have green. Yeah. Just end the turn. They got five cards, we have six cards. We got a two two on the board and we're bashing their face in. One, two, three, five, six, one, two, three. We have seven lands, they have six lands. It's all coming together, guys. Is that eight lands? One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, we're so land healthy. Your doom has been foretold. Well, I mean, if they want to play a flash guy, that's totally fine. They're still eating a card. What do they have in hand? I don't understand. Bant level midnight. I like that you said equals threat level midnight as if I'd be like, what, what is that? I don't get that reference. What does that mean? Four, five, six, seven, eight mana. We want to play around like Mystical Dispute, so. I think we're just playing a land here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can actually play Yorion and still keep up Mythos mana. Seems fine. And if they kill it, we just hear ultimatum, so. Like, if we get to play Eerie Ultimatum, I don't think they can... Like, their 1v1 game doesn't work out. 
Especially when this guy just kills them in five turns. Target creatures that have different converted mana costs of three or less. Sure, one, two. Oh, that was your main phase. Hmm. So five, four, three, two, six. Oh, God. Doesn't matter. Oh, this is going to be a bloodbath, I think, if we can cast this. <laughs> uh, land? Okay. <laughs> God, we could have got a 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 drop and a land. Wow. Yep, that's pretty Thank nice. You. Oh, antibody with the gifted sub. Oh man, I appreciate it, my dude. Oh, with different names? I mean that's just gonna be better, right? Yeah, there's so many like cards that do similar things like that now that it's just like, oh I forgot. Okay. Why this guy's in the front here, I don't know. All right. Um, it's funny, I want to cut the blue, but I think the Ashiok is great. I don't think Dance of the Mance, I, I don't think I give a shit about Dance of the Mance. I think this could be, I think the blue is actually fine in the deck. You changed the deck, but I super appreciate you taking the time to even try out the deck. Honestly, my favorite streamer, and I've been following your content for the handful of years. Gifting subs, just trying to catch up for the Misty. Dude, I appreciate you, Anthony Betty. Um, I thought my I thought the point was trying to change the deck. That's typically what what deck the deck donation. Uh, that's typically the objective is to change the deck, to like make changes and update it, you know, and make things improve to make improvements, you know. Uh, I'm taking the dance out. I don't... Cutting one birth. I think two birth is fine, but I think three might be a little a little overkill. I'm putting more eggs in. So now we're up to four eggs. I think Calyx can go. I'm just not. Why don't we have Ugin in here? Oh, I do like Maze Mind's Tome. I don't know if I cut the birth for Maze Mind's Tome. How many artifacts do we have? Not a ton. One glass casket, four golden egg, two maze mine tome, and that's pretty much it. So, seven. And we just added three. So we had four before this. Let's return an online permanent to in hand. The problem is I don't know how good bouncing three things is in this format. What if we just played something like Elder Gargaroth in the deck? Like just some really good fat creature that we can get back with. Because uh... this feels like an eerie ultimatum. This feels like this deck is being pulled in too many directions, right? We're being pulled in eerie ultimatum. We're being pulled in um, Dance of the Mance. We're being pulled into Doom Foretold. I don't want to increase our four drop count any, that's all. Add five he black three enchantment that draws, th oh, add the black enchantment that draws, th we already have, we have three of those, we have three treacherous blessings. There are not creatures. Uh, Yeah, I mean, well, you just have the Yorion and the, uh, 
Yeah, no, that makes sense. Because, like, without having creatures, you shut off a lot of the removal. That's true. But then, like, you still do have Yorion, and you still do make creatures. So it's kind of like... What do you do? You know? What do you do? God, I love this art. I, I like that the wolf and the Garrick are two separate artists. I feel like if, if, a, if a Planeswalker makes a token... You should have the Planeswalker and the token be made by the same artist, you know? I don't think we need the... Eight. I'm going to add another Mystical Dispute. And I don't think we need the eighth uh, extinction event in the sideboard. Three Black Black XL... Three Corner Manicast Creatures worth wild. Three BB... No, because, I mean, you have seven sweepers in the deck already. I don't think we need an eighth sweeper. I just don't think, like, that's never been an issue, though. You know, it's like, it's like the, the point is, like, we're looking for things that, that we're not working out, not things that... Oh, to, to, to put in, repla in, in place of those? I don't, I don't know. We have two more cards that we can put in here. We do have three to rest in the sideboard. I don't think we want them in the main deck. Does the deck need green? I mean, like, we're not playing Esper, right? And I'd rather just have your ultimatum, Garrick. I think I think Balligan once in future are pretty sweet. I think your ultimatum is a super cool and top end card, so I really don't have a problem with. I mean, it's, and also like when we when we do deck donations and like we when, when we're brewing things up, we're never playing because we need a certain color. Obviously, it doesn't need green. Obviously, you can cut green, make it the traditional Esper Doom foretold deck that's been around, and then you have that right. But that's not what we're trying to do. So, you know. Sleeper dart. What the shit is that? That's actually. I mean. No, that's... The ability's not great, though. There's gotta be a better way. I would rather have, like, supply. Spare supplies. What about apparition? I don't even know. Oh, Skyclave apparition? It's not terrible. I guess I was meaning to change it completely. Do you mean like, you? yeah, you mean just like take the green out and just be a different deck? Like, well, just play the Esper deck. Just play the Esper version that already exists. Okay, we can do that, but that's not fun. Golden Egg? Well, we could add, we can't add five, so it's harder. I can realize where. Uh, they only let you play four, okay? Let's not go crazy with the eggs here. We're not making breakfast. I feel like we want more things to play on three. Like, Treacherous Blessing's not really a turn three card. These are good. These are kind of good. I kind of like to cut one of these. Because we don't have Calyx anymore, so it's not a huge deal. I don't think one white-white is super rough, because white is one of our highest... Like, we have four, five, six, seven, eleven... Uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We have 21 white sources in our deck. I think that's pretty good. Any of the omens. Hmm. It's weird that there's... Oh, is there a red omen? What's the red omen do? Two damage? Okay, I was like, why is there no red omen? That's really weird. And you can't have necromentia without omen, guys. I do kind of like Omen of the Sea. I'm going to have to play like a Cultivate, but we just don't have a lot of basics, so. Can't spell Necromentia without Terrible. Yeah, I do think the Omens are good. Let's take out one Elspeth and two Omens. Also, the Omens are good with Doom Foretold as well. Don't forget. Like, I think that's one of their better qualities is that like you get to sacrifice them and how many how much blue do we have we have one two three four five six seven eight we only have eight blue sources though it's a little rough
You want a third Eerie Ultimatum? Interesting. I mean, I'll, I'll do it. I'm totally fine with the third Eerie Ultimatum. Done. Academia is only creatures, unfortunately. Yeah, otherwise we'd play it because we can get like a two, a two, a three, a one. All right. Let's see if this does anything. Not a one of Calyx? No, we just don't have enough enchantments. Dude, I've whiffed too many times. I've whiffed too many times. I kind of like one Ugin. You can get it back with Aerial Ultimatum. You can get it back with uh, Balaged Return, Return of Balaged or whatever it is. Well, no blue source here. I'm still going to keep it. Two lands on the draw, sure. Three sweepers, boy. Let's hope we got a... So we got black... Oh, God. <sighs> What's more relevant? The black is more relevant right now. Why can't I ever remember that Ugin exists? I don't know. It's very weird. Yikes. Yikes at this stupid name. That's amazing. Wow. That's, that's, that's super cringe, dude. I'm sorry that your name is so cringy. The problem is if it's sarcastic, they'll never know. I'm just gonna pass here. We could play this and risk getting it countered, but like, we could just maze mine tome as well, so. Hmm. Shark Typhoon for one. I mean, literally, Jesus, that's the one thing they left out. Usually they go for God instead of Jesus. If you're lost, you can look and you will find me. One, two, three, four, five, five, seven. I'm just going to play this because if we activate Maze Mind Tomb, we have to discard. And I don't foresee us playing anything on our turn. Oh boy. I'm probably going to keep that and bottom that. That's a good one. Hmm. We don't have a green. Both of these are green. <laughs> Nothing new. I mean, they're just playing like a blue-black deck, I guess. Yeah, look, I mean, they're playing blue-black, so clearly they're all lives matter. Blue lives matter deck. <laughs> God, we have a good time. Yep, we'll take four. Oh, I like that. See, that's pretty good, because now we can see what we're working with here. Um, the second hand unwinds.
Okay. Are you going to lose to... Are we just gonna lose the two shark shark typhoons? They have two cards in hand. One, two, three, four, five. What do we? I don't know. I'm counting lines like this. One, two, three. We're like very far away, unfortunately. We got black, 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 white, white, green. One, two, three, four. Uh, let's go even. Seems good. All right. Oof. Sure. Yep. So they discard two cards, they go to one card. We draw two cards and we have seven in hand. Okay. See you later, Soaring Thief. This is... Why couldn't we play Eerie? I mean, right now we can. We got green, green, black, 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 white, white. Do we have enough to do this and eerie though? Um, black, black, black. Green, green, white, white. We only have blue. We need to land here. Can easily wait a turn, go to 10. Where this is gonna gain us four, so I'm not really super concerned. Essence Scatter or Drown? Well, Essence Scatter is significantly more limited than Drown in the lock, and we have no creatures, so... You know, that's cool. I'm just gonna crack this and try to hit a land. Hey, we did it.
sure. I think we're way ahead. Did it again. Next. Sure. Man. Don't you know you're just helping me? Eerie is different names. Oh, Jesus, that's insane. Yeah, let's just do that. Is it play? It's return to the battlefield, right? Oh, boy. One, two... Okay! <laughs> oh, God. Fuck out of here, Trump. Get out of here, you stupid idiot. That was amazing. Satisfying. Um, I think we can take out two of these. Thank you. Mystical dispute seems MVP here. Um, I'm gonna take out all the extinction events actually. Agonizing remorse. Arctic Avenger with a gifted sub to Garbage Andy. I appreciate you guys. Oh, Garbage Andy with the raid. Thanks so much, buddy. Really appreciate it, my dude. I think Shark Typhoon's also very good in this matchup. Man, Eerie Ultimatum. I'm going to take one out because it seems a little slow for this matchup. I'll take a Duress out too. We'll bring another Shark Typhoon. And I kind of want one more Shark Typhoon. Take out one egg for another Shark Typhoon. Basically doing the same thing. I'll definitely keep this. So this is our only blue source starting off, I think. This is the... It's not Zagoth's trial. I hate that you can't see the cards under your own name. I'm like, what mana does this add? I can't tell. I guess I can, brag, drink it up here. I guess I can right click on it, can I? Um, We have four lands already. I'm going to bottom this. We also have five with birth. So, sure. Not too concerned with whatever you take here. I'll take your ultimatum because they're probably gonna take shark type. Right? Liberty guns, beer, and Trump. We're going to play this first because I like to keep Omen because we don't know what we want yet. If we want like a removal spell or a sweet planeswalker, we could always play Omen and try to find it. It's very much like a ponder or a preordain in that sense. Um, I'm actually just going to play Triumph because we want to have a black source for our mythos. I assume they're going to play something. Yep, this, this idiot. I think we are definitely going to play Omen, just so we can have it on board now. You got it. Oh no! You're going to Mystical Dispute my Omen? Sure, my dude. You're gonna drown this thing in the lock? They have one card in hand if they do. Seems fine. <laughs> just a negate. Okie dokie. This is not great. And I'll just leave it on top so that they're gonna mill it. It's totally fine. So you have, one, you have one card in hand. Seems, seems not great. 
Not great, Bob. Um, just play planes here. We are missing significant. We have to draw black, black in order to cast your ultimatum here. Is this whenever they attack? Sure. I'll just pay the three. It doesn't matter. I do like that. What do we want? White here? Or green? Probably green. We have another white there, so. Seems good. Second black source? Sure. Yep, this is all very good. Um, Triome. Get you in hand. This is the omen of the sea. NWO for life? What does that mean? What are you saying right now? I don't actually... I don't want either of these, to be honest. I didn't want that either. That's pretty good, though. We don't have triple black for this yet, though. Oh, NWO for life. I get it. I'm actually just going to draw one here. Oh, there's the other black. That's pretty good. I like that. I like it. Are they just dead here? I mean, we don't know, I guess. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have nine. I think I'd rather play around. We're under no pressure here. I think I'd rather play around um, Mystical Dispute. They have four cards. still scry if we want to yeah guys make sure you're placing your stream raiders units we got two minutes left um yeah let's go to my turn put you to 10 they know we have your ultimatum so i'm just like not really incentivized to uh cast it here and if you want to counter the things i play on my way to your ultimatum that's okay too And we're just going to pass now that we have Maze Mind Tome available. Brazen Bar. Cling to Dust. Sure. Sure. Maze Mind Tome has been very, very good so far. Okay, that's pretty decent. We're going to play this. It doesn't hit anything, but next turn we do get to look at their hand and uh, set up for... For your ultimatum. 
So, I, I don't know if you guys know this, it's pretty good. Main phase? Okie dokie. <laughs> Got him. This deck is sweet, dude. I am a fan. It does a little of everything. Man. Looks like Trump can actually win. <laughs> Thank you. Considering it's almost two hours, I'm going to call it here. But these are three pretty sweet, sweet matches. And hopefully the antibody. I appreciate your support, my dude. Thank you so much for the gifted subs. And hopefully uh, some of these changes will stick. Hopefully you appreciate some of the changes we made here. Um, I definitely think your ultimatum is a pretty sweet win condition in this deck because you have such a variety of um, of, of permanents that have different names. <laughs> uh, this deck was just sweet. Like I, I never felt like we were out of it. It has a ton of card advantage, a ton of answers. Uh, Treacherous Blessing, Golden Egg, Omen. Um, Garrick is sweet. Shark Typhoon was great here. Amiria's Call and uh, Balagate Recovery and Hagra Mulling I think were fine additions. You can play them as lands, you can play them as spells. Um, Mythos of Nethra is just one of my favorite removal spells in this format. And uh, I'd actually like to play Abzan just to see if we can make it <laughs> in a three-color deck. But um, it just reminds me of, like, Maelstrom Pulse uh, at instant speed. Um, yeah, the deck seems sweet. I think it's great. Uh, yeah, but, like, the thing is, if you're cracking... You said, like, that was the reason for the Fabled Passages. And, like, if you're cracking Fabled Passage to get a land... By the time you Eerie Ultimate him to get Fabled Passage back, it's very unlikely that you're going to have any basics. You know what I mean? So, like, it's a cute idea on paper. But once you're playing, you're like, oh, I'm out of basic lands. So, you know, it's it's also like, once you're casting Eerie Ultimate him, the last thing it's gonna, that's going to matter is how many basics you're getting back. So, either way, thank you so much for letting me play this. This is super sweet. I'm glad I did. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.